tutorial. So um, it's a home buying project and it's called buying my dream home. Okay. You will use the internet and search for your dream home, dream homes, use Zillow.com, respond to the questions below about the homes that you choose. And so um, the first home you're going to look for is in your hometown. Okay. The price range is 300,000 to 400,000. Now I'm going to pretend that my hometown is Cranston, Rhode Island, but you guys are going to probably use North Kingstown, Rhode Island, Jamestown, Rhode Island. And a lot of you, a couple of you come from Warwick, Rhode Island, but wherever you come from. Um, so I would imagine most of you are going to use North Kingstown, Rhode Island. You're going to click on Zillow.com. And I'm going to put in the zip code for Cranston, but you guys, like I said, are going to use your hometown zip code. All right. All right. And I need to choose a home between 300,000 and 400,000 that I would probably like to live in. And um, I chose this one for the example, so that's why it's showing up first. Um, but you can scroll around and look at all the houses in between in your um, state. I'm sorry, not your state, your town. Um, 300,000 to 400,000. And this is the one that I chose. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go back to the assignment. Um, so location, your hometown, you're going to put in your zip code. Price range, 300000 to 400000 Location of the home, you're going to type in the address. And please put your answers in red so that I can see them. Um, same thing on your other assignment this week. It's, it's just a whole lot easier for me to grade. And so just check the red text um, when you're doing this. So the address is 30 Brookview Drive, Cranston, Rhode Island, 02921. Okay, um, and I need to answer some questions about this house. So it's three hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. It falls within the range um, that the assignment requires. It's three beds, three baths, two thousand three hundred and forty-four square feet. Okay, so now let's go back to our assignment. And you're just going to. There were lines here. You can erase the lines and put in your answers. Three beds, three baths, 2,344 square feet. That's how big the home is. How big is the lot? Okay. What year was the home built? And what is this home being sold for? Well, we know it's $385,000. Be careful, guys, when you type this information in. I don't want you to get something wrong because you left off a zero or put the comma in the wrong place. So how big is the lot? What year was this home built? And how much is this home being sold for? Okay, so let's scroll down some more, some more, some more. Um, here we go. The lot is 0. 0.49 acres, built in 1987. And the price is $385,000. Okay, so there's your uh, facts and features. And you're just going to come over here and fill in the blanks. If you purchase the home for the asking price and your lender requires a down payment of 20% for the loan, how much would you pay up front? Now, um, that's customary, a 20% down payment. So the house is $385,000. So you can just head over to your calculator. $385,000 times 20% you're going to need to come up with $77,000 for your down payment. Again, make sure, uh, put your answer in red, make sure your comma's in the right place and you have the right amount of zero so you don't get it wrong. So um, most lenders require a down payment of 20%, and that's the amount of money you have to pay up front for the house. And it comes off the selling price, okay? It goes toward the selling price, okay? Now we're gonna take a look at a monthly mortgage payment calculator. And a mortgage payment is simply, um, what is that? Sorry guys. A mortgage payment is um, the amount of money that um, you're gonna be paying each month for the loan on your house. Um, 
click the home loans top tab and go to mortgage calculator enter the necessary information use the default interest rate look at the graphic to the right to answer the following questions so i'm going to go through this with you um we're going to go back to the website and uh, go to the mortgage calculator so we're going to i can close out of that go back sorry gonna go to home loans mortgage calculator all right and the sales price is three hundred eighty five thousand dollars so we're gonna put in three hundred eighty five thousand dollars the down payment at 20% is $77,000. So now you can check your math. Perfect. Now we're going to see how much um, our monthly payment is going to be with a 30 year loan. We are going to make your payments monthly over 30 years. The interest rate is 3.898%. Leave that alone. Just leave whatever default interest rate shows up for you and that you can use that rate. Okay, so all you have to do is type in the price of the home, and then you're going to have um, a graphic here with some information that you're going to need for the rest of the assignment. Pretty straightforward, okay? Enter the home price, and um, take a look at this graphic. All right, so your total payment is $2,392 a month. The principal and interest, is 1,452. The insurance is $135 and the taxes are 805. Okay, so the principal and the interest is um, what you're paying back each month. And then a lot of people put the insurance and the taxes right into their mortgage payments. So they just make one lump sum payment. So we're gonna come here. Principal and interest, 1,456. Oops, I have a typo, 1,452. Insurance, 135, taxes, 805, total payment, 2,396. Oh, I did that again. 2,392, okay? And then you're going to see how much more your payment, your monthly payment would be if you chose a 15 year fixed mortgage. Now, that would mean that your monthly payments would be higher because you are paying off the house in 15 years. You're paying off your home loan or your mortgage in 15 years rather than 30. So you just go back to your mortgage calculator, change this to 15 year, your interest rate is going to change. And now take a look. Your total payment is $3,090. Principal and interest is 2,150. Insurance is 135 and taxes are 805. Okay, so you just simply fill in the information from the graphic. Lastly, you can right click on a photo of the house and insert a photo of the home below. Make it tiny, guys, because you start looking for your next home on the next page, okay? And you can, if you, you know, if you went down a little bit, you can bring that up. The next home you're going to look for is on the West Coast. Um, price range is above $500,000. Find a house that looks attractive to you. Type in the address of the home. Fill in all the blanks. Use your red text. Um, calculate the down payment, put the price of the home into that mortgage calculator on Zillow, put in your insurance taxes, total payment, go in and change the amount of years to 15 and go in and put your um, information from that graphic here. Insert a photo of the home below. Home three, the greater Boston area. Now you're going to have to do a little Google search and find out what communities um, comprise the greater Boston area. Okay, find a home below $500,000 that you like. Um, type in the address, city and state. 
fill in this information with your red text. You can get rid of the lines. There's your down payment. It's the price of the home times 0 0.20, 20% down payment. Go back to your mortgage calculator, put in the amount of the home, fill in the blanks, insurance, taxes, total payment. 15 year, insert a photo of the home below. Okay, oh, and your last one is your dream home. Oh, there it is. Okay, you choose, you choose. Your location, your price range. Um, and you're gonna put the address, city and state. Um, it doesn't have to be like a mansion or anything, you know, enormous. Your dream home um, could really be any nice house. Your dream home, your dream location. Okay, if you purchase the home for the asking price, your lender requires a down payment of 20% for the loan. How much would you pay up front? Okay, 30 year, 15 year, insert a photo of the home below. Okay, once you do that for your four houses, it won't take you that long, I promise. I'll write a one paragraph analysis explaining three things you can do to save up for the down payment for the home that you choose in your hometown. So you're gonna go back to the first one. Okay, go back to your hometown choice. Write a one paragraph analysis below explaining three things you can do to save up for the down payment for the home that you chose in your hometown. Be sure to include the age at which you think you will have the down payment saved and include the down payment amount in your paragraph. Okay, guys, um, pretty straightforward. You're going to search up four houses Use the mortgage calculator for each house. Screen copy a picture. Make it small. If you hit the shift key and grab the corner and hold the shift key while you grab the corner, you can size your photo using the same proportions. You didn't learn that in emerging tech. There you go. All right, guys. Um, have a great week.